more mods, more mods. Today, uh, this, 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 and this. This is a foot valve, uh, and I'm modifying, not this one, but a small one, but I'm just gonna show you what's inside the foot valve. There you get your O-ring, hoo-ha. Oh, come on, baby, there we go. The body, and the valve itself. And the reason I like foot valves is they've got this nice big fat ceiling washer. And the way they work is in and out, in and out, or up and down, up and down, if you prefer. That's good seat on there every time, nice good seat. I like that. So, the problem I was having was I didn't have enough weight, I suppose, on the foot valve. And that my valve was chattering, it was going too fast. And it was affecting not enough water coming out at the top here. So what I've done is... I've taken the foot valve, oh, let me get this piece out again, and I've modified it a little bit, just a little bit. So you get your valve, and I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm just gonna tell you anyway. You get your valve like so, and I've drilled an M8 hole in the middle. As you're drilling, the pin on the bottom is gonna fall off like this. It's really of no matter. Because originally uh, I decided I was going to tap into the brass and after faffing about several times I've decided that that ain't worth a pinch of shit. You can just put your oil thread straight through, get your uh, thread locker, put some of the thread locker on there, tighten your two nuts up, boom shakalaka, you're away. Now the other thing that I had to do, because there's more girth in the bottom now, with the nut being there, uh, and you've got your standard hoo-ha in the bottom, and it was crashing into that, so I just smashed it out with a cold chisel, so that it's no longer currently available. It is not fitted any longer. So, what's going to happen is, this is gonna go back into here, like so. Oh, I didn't show you the top piece. The top piece, the top piece. Because we're trying to avoid the wear and tear, can I, can I get it out? push push okay this is called a, a shoulder washer and as you can see it's got a shoulder that's bigger than the bore this bit drilled a hole in the top this bit goes in here this is like a guide and it's made out of some sort of neoprene or plastic and hopefully that's going to guide the all thread and keep the valve running true Like so. La di da di da. Boom shakalaka. Now she's pretty stiff because it's not perfectly square, but I imagine that after a couple of minutes of running, it's going to free itself up as the all thread rips into the plastic a bit. So, what we do now is I've got a selection of uh, stainless steel washers here. We put one little galvanized nut on. And I'm going to give it the full complement of the washers that I've got in stock while it first starts up because A, my ram pump has not been working today and B, I think it's going to help to break it in a bit better. Also, I want to see how long the stroke is or the cycle time is with the, the additional weight. So there you go. That's what she looks like. All finished. Polis bolus. Can't quite see that, can you? There you go. So yeah, hang five and we'll go and install it. <laughs> 